that door, please. You shut that door. Putting off Ari for for the media guys. Feeling pretty important uh, right now. Putting off Ari for the media guys, huh? Cool. Thank you. Feeling pretty important right now. Telling Ari to wait while you talk to the media. Guys. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys ready? So obviously I don't have any canned statements or anything to say other than what happened here today is Connor and approximately 20 guys uh, apparently were let in through the doors by the MacLife guys who were uh, credentialed here. They opened the doors for them through an entrance. They stormed the building, got down to the, uh, to the uh, loading docks where the fighters were getting on the buses and started to attack. Um, the buses throwing trash cans and uh, dollies and things like that broke one of the windows and cut Michael Chiesa really bad. Um, he had glass, he cut his head, he cut his face. Um, Rose Namajunas apparently was almost hit. She's super upset right now and basically left and walked back to the hotel um, and uh, hurt one of our employees, broke one of our employees knuckles and other injuries, uh, you know, and, and obviously everybody's shaken up when 30 thugs storm a, you know, these guys are all cutting weight and getting ready for a fight. This is the most disgusting thing that has ever happened in the history of, of the company. And uh, police are, there is a warrant out for Conor McGregor's arrest and um, uh, they're looking for him right now. His plane cannot take off. He cannot leave the state of New York. Uh, with this warrant, they, they're, they're, they'll be grounded, and uh, I'm assuming eventually, if they don't catch him, he'll turn himself in. Uh, you can imagine he's going to be sued beyond belief, and uh, this was a real bad career move for him. So let's start with Kiesa. Do we know his condition? Is he able to fight? He's at the hospital now. So we're just waiting to find out how bad the cut is? Right. Cuts. Cuts. He's all cut up. Rose, you said she was pretty upset. I mean, has she talked about any, like, I'm not in a place to... I'm going to see her next. And how about your professional relationship with Connor? Not good. I, I, I think that after this disgusting, despicable move, I think everybody's relationship with Connor is going to be not so great. I mean, even the police officer who came to, to me about this is like, God, I was a fan of his too. Not anymore. I mean, this is, this is the type of bad decision you make that, that turns a lot of people off. Uh, against you. You know, he attacked a bus. Listen, I, he's got some beef with Khabib because of the Artem thing that went down. You don't you don't come into Barclay Center, attack people that are in a bus who are fighting the next day. And the worst part is the women that were on the bus. They're fighters. Rose is a fighter and Carolina are fighters, but these 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 goons are throwing uh, you know bike racks and chairs and things like that through the windows of the bus and didn't care who they hit or who they hurt. So, are there any steps you can take? I mean, obviously you got to let the legal process play out, but are there any steps you can take as a promotion against Connor at this time? I, I haven't even talked to my crew right now, and obviously, you know, we're, we're disgusted with him right now, completely disgusted, and uh, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I, I got to regroup, and you know, we have a fight this Saturday, and that's what I need to focus on and make sure that these fighters are okay and get through this fight on Saturday. But yeah. Um, the answer to that is yes. The, the, the question is what, you know, yeah. so yes. Have you tried to reach out directly yet to him? No, I don't, I don't want to talk to Conor McGregor. I know you said yesterday you weren't sure if he was coming. Did you know he was in town? Yeah, I knew, we knew last night that he was in town, yeah. 
do you, do you know? You said there was a lot of people we saw the group. Do you know if it was him or his people? A lot of people we saw that what? With Connor. Do you know if it was him throwing things? Oh, they're all on video. Oh, Connor was absolutely throwing things. Oh, yeah. I think Connor's the one that threw the chair through the bus window, right? Yeah. It's all on video. Not only were people shooting from inside the bus, people were shooting from outside the bus and the security cameras that they have downstairs. Everything's on camera, including the Mac Life guys letting them in the, in the doors. Sitting here, yeah, I know it's fresh, but you want to be in business with Conor McGregor? Yeah, no, right now, no. Absolutely not. What do you make of, I mean, why? Like, I mean, what do you make of this? Do you want to be in business with Conor McGregor right now? Do you want to chase this guy around for interviews and, and buy his fights? Do you? Yeah. No, I don't think, I don't think anybody is, is going to want it right now. No, I think everybody's going to be pretty disgusted with Conor McGregor right now. Um, you know, Listen, you don't like Habib and you don't like what happened or whatever, then fight Habib. You can come in here and you can do it legally. Shit, this fight's happening Saturday. We could have talked and made the Khabib fight right after. You could do whatever you wanted to Khabib within the limits of the rules of, of, of you know, fighting. But you want to grab 30 fucking friends and come down here and, uh, and do what you did today? It's disgusting. And I don't think anybody is going to be, uh, you know, huge Conor McGregor fans after this. You know him in a way that a lot of people don't. What do you, what do you make of this? What I don't, do I don't know. To? I don't know if he's on drugs or what his deal is, you know, but to come and do this and, and, and act like this, you know, and you're talking about a guy who has a baby. He just had a kid. This is, this is how you're acting. You have a son at home. Anyway. Do you, do you think he came here specifically to do this? To New York or do you think he came for other reasons? Um, no. I think he came because he was interested in the fight, and I think that it escalated to this. We heard Artem might have been in that group of people. Do you know if Artem was Artem there? was. Artem's off the card. Artem's not fighting. So that fight's not happening. Yeah. I guess, I mean, it's kind of a small part of the story, but the Mac Life credential media. <laughs> I hope they get arrested, too. I hope the two guys from Mac Life get arrested, too, for, for being a part of it. They have it all on film. They just The police just came and told us that those were the guys who let him in. So hopefully they get arrested too. I think I already know the answer to this, but if he's out, is he not allowed in the building Saturday? <laughs> so I think I already know the answer. All right. So I guess okay. from here, what's the next step? I mean, Kiesa's health, I guess, is, is priority number one. And I guess he said you're going to talk to Rose. And then what's the next step as far as Connor? I mean, do you let the whole legal no, process play fight. out? Oh, yeah, yeah. The police are going to take care of Connor. The police are going to handle Connor. And, uh, you know, I, I know that handful of people here already that are filing lawsuits against Conor McGregor. Um, God knows how many lawsuits he's going to have by the time this is done. Um, and yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go make sure that Rose is okay. And, uh, you know, Mike's okay. And we'll, we'll go from there. We'll get this fight out of the way and, uh, and we'll deal with the rest of it next one, week. One of the worst days you've ever had on this job. Come on guys. Come on. This has never happened. In, in, in my history of being with the UFC. Listen, th th this is a fight game. Mean things are said, people get in each other's faces, people grab each other and do stuff like that. It's completely normal. And it's we always, you know, contain it and handle it as part of the business. But what happened today was criminal, um, disgusting, despicable, makes me sick, and uh, we as an organization need to make sure that this never happens again. Thanks, Dana. Cool. Appreciate it.